So the final section of the course looks at the strategy and the action plan development. So this is going to help you more concretely move forward with your plans. Within this section, there are three main components. The first one is developing an internal strategy. Now, this is really looking at the, the capacities and the resources of the private sector network and the members itself, and trying to identify where some of the areas of common need or interest might lie. This will help you to identify sort of your niche area of intervention. Secondly, you will look at developing an external strategy. So this is looking at how you engage with, inform, and actually build relationships with the other actors that are already working within your context. So this will include, again, humanitarian actors, development actors, and the government. Finally, the action plan will bring this down very concretely to looking at what are some of the activities that you will want to do within your network. So these activities should focus on where you can add value the most and really make a difference within your context. It will also include identifying some ways of measuring the impact of what you're doing. The development of these activities will be supported by a range of resources that you're being provided with in the very last sections of the toolkit. Now, these include tools and templates and a variety of different resources that will really help you develop the activities and also help you to speak the same language as some of the actors within, with whom you are engaging.